All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, you may have heard the saying, neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night stays these carriers from the swift mm -hmm. completion of their appointed rounds. And that's not their official motto. It references to U.S. postal workers braving every element you could ever imagine to get your mail on time. Did you know, though, that neither snow nor rain <laughs> nor anything will stop these carriers from working to stamp out hunger? We just learned that from Daryl, who's in studio with us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Tell us all about Stamp Out Hunger this year. And you just said it's the largest one day food drive in America. Correct. Thank you for having me, ladies. Yes. Absolutely. Um, it's actually the one day, the largest one day food drive in America. Wow. And it's put on by the National Association of Letter Carriers. And this is Saturday is the big day. Saturday is the big day. All right. So what do people need to know? They need to take a, any non-perishable items and they just need to put it out by their mailbox and their carrier in the rounds of their duties will pick up the their cans and they'll bring it back and then we're going to drop it off to local pantries. Okay, so it's a busy day for you mm -hmm. guys. How can people make this a little bit easier for you? Very busy day. Um, really, we, we're not asking a lot. We're just asking yeah. for one can at a time because one can counts. Yeah. Just take any non-perishable food item, put it by your mailbox, let the carriers know, we'll pick it up. We're doing all the work for them. Oh, that's awesome. What about if you live in an apartment? This came to top of mind for me. <laughs> Very good question. A lot of times the, our customers will actually put it on top of their mailboxes. Okay. Or they'll put it down on the floor. Okay. Um, and they usually will put it in like a, a Meyer bag or something along those lines. They can put it in plastic bags. Uh, paper bags. We'll pick it up, or they can. They don't even have to put it in a bag. We'll pick it up. Wow, oh, that's awesome. Yes. So, if people are like, okay, I've got some stuff I want to donate. Is this the entire, you know, Grand Rapids area, or what places specifically will be participating? We actually participate in the greater Grand, Grand Rapids mm -hmm. metropolitan area, which will go all the way up to Sparta, okay. down to Wayland, and then over to Coopersville. There you go. So pretty much most of Kent County. Yes. And you said this year, this is going directly to food pantries. Talk a little bit about that. Correct. Uh, we teamed up with uh, approximately eight different food pantries. In each one of the post offices, the letter carriers are going to take their little postal trucks that everybody sees mm -hmm. out on the road, and they're going to drive to the pantries and drop off the, the food to the pantries. And then um, church for our uh, Church for Christ out of Hamilton, Michigan mm -hmm. is bringing up a 53-foot trailer mm. and they're going to go to the Northeast Post Office on Three Mile. Okay, and so obviously a lot of food items needed. What specifically though are you guys looking for? What's in need right now? Really, they're, anything and everything that's non-perishable. Yeah. The food pantries are running low, mm -hmm. um, especially with the COVID-19 for the past two years. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to put it on a hiatus for two years. This is our 30th year of actually doing this. In the food pantries during the summertime, that's when they run out of food the most because kids are out of school. Mm. So over the last two years, we haven't been able to help them out, but this year we're hoping with the community's help to actually restock these food pantries. That's Absolutely. great, and with high food prices right now, <laughs> couldn't come at a better time. Correct. Thanks, Daryl, for being here. It's as easy as putting something out at your mailbox. There you go, right? No snow, no rain. Hopefully no rain, though, for you guys. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a busy day. You don't need any of that. Thanks so much for being here, Daryl. Thank, Thank you, Daryl. All right, time now, 845. Still ahead this morning.